So today we're going to be talking about Rainbow Six Extraction and how this game might surprise us and become one of those gems like Left 4 Dead or some of the recent shooting or zombie games that we've seen right now. So as the name says, the game is all about extracting a person, intel or items from a quarantine zone. You have various operators, tools, weapons, mechanics and rewards set in place. There is a pinnacle process in this game as well or what you might call end game activity. And as I begin to look more into this game it's looking more promising than I first anticipated several months ago I will be honest with you guys when I first heard about this game and saw the early gameplay I was really not impressed but now it's become clear that they want this game to become its own thing I know a lot of time we try to associate it with siege because it's both a rainbow six game but they're trying to create a whole new identity for this game right here and it's working out I mean it's looking good so far and this is supposed to be a great alternative for PvE players because some people love the dynamics of siege but they don't love the pvp aspect of it they said it currently has 18 operators more are coming they also have 12 maps more are supposed to be coming they have 13 enemy variations they say more are coming and they also have free post launch content now the post launch content is tied to its own season pass system and it also brings in new variations and challenges to the game i think i personally think this is going to be a good game but it will fall under that niche category it's not going to be one of those games that just blows up and everybody is playing it on twitch but with that said i would like to hear what you guys think about this down below in the comment section is this going to be a day one purchase for you considering that it is only forty dollars or you know thirty nine ninety nine if you would say or are you going to wait till it goes on sale let me know down below in the comment section thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one